Hey guys, um, I don't have a review or anything like that. I have a bit of a kind of a rant, I guess. Um, I, as most of people who follow me know, I collect uh, ball joint dolls, other dolls, and Monster High dolls. Um, I actually have a massive, massive collection of Monster High dolls. Um, most of which are right now in storage because we're planning on moving. Um, however, I'm really, I, you know, I was, I've been giving Mattel the benefit of the doubt on all the changes and everything. And, you know, about how they've, how they're um, doing the relaunch, basically, of Monster High. With the whole, um, you know, um, the whole new re-release of the dolls and the, the changing of the faces and the sculpts and everything. But, and I, I've been giving them a shot. Some of them are cute. Some of them are cool looking. But Mattel's going the same direction that they always go, unfortunately, like they did with Barbie. They're, you know, the cheaper dolls are no longer, they no longer have jointed knees. They have the molded, they look like they have joints. They're molded on joints, but they don't actually have the joints. And they're taking away that on the cheaper dolls, which I understand, you know, cost everything else. Kids lose the arms and <clears throat> and whatnot. And I know that these dolls are geared towards kids. I understand that. I get it. But Mattel also knows that there is a huge collector market of adults who collect Monster High dolls. Mattel knows it. They acknowledge it. That's why they released the collector uh, Draculaura last year, and this year they're releasing the collector Skeleta Calaveras. Um, and I, I'm actually contemplating getting her. Um, the thing that makes me mad, kind of, is that Monster High has always been the whole be unique, love your freaky flaws, celebrate what makes you different. And Monster High has always done that. They've always been different. You walk down the aisle instead of seeing, you know, wall to wall pink and glitter and, you know, fairies and mermaids. <clears throat> And now they're doing it to Monster High. I don't know if Garrett Sander is no longer working on Monster High or or what or like if he you know I don't know why they why he let them change it so much. That's their business. It's just it bothers me because it's sending this message, this mixed message to kids that you know originally it was to be to love yourself and accept the flaws and accept who you are and now it's like they're still saying it but it's like no be yourself be unique you know love your freaky flaws but change everything about you that makes you different so you can fit in with the rest of the crowd i mean they're taking their dolls and and they're making them they're giving them these big color big colorful eyes and these smiles and and all this other stuff they're taking away things like like this i think this is beautiful yeah she's not a ball joint doll she doesn't cost several hundred dollars but she is a beautiful doll i love scarab she's one of my favorites and it's sad that they're going to be taking her and her away even though they're not going to they're not getting rid of any characters. They're rebranding them. It, it's upsetting to me, not as a collector, but to to the kids that, you know, for the last, what is it, seven, eight years, or nine years, or ten years, something, that Mattel and Monster High have been saying, don't change, love who you are. And then, oh wait, we're going to change everything that there is about Monster High, everything that made them unique, everything that made them stand out, we're going to change because it'll sell better. Or because some parents, some people who don't even have kids probably complain that Monster High is too scary. You don't have to buy them for your kids. Mattel is not sitting there with a gun to the parent's head saying, you have to buy this for your kid, you have to buy this for your kid. If your kid wants it and you say no... That's all you have to do. You don't have to buy it. No one's making you buy any of this stuff. It's your decision. 
So I don't think you should say, oh, the doll's too freaky, the doll's too scary. If your kid's afraid of it, don't let your kid play with it. Don't encourage your kid to buy it, you know? But come on. Everything that I loved about Monster High was the the uniqueness. The, it was just so unique and so out there. It brought back the passion to, of collecting for me. Monster High saved my hobby. I almost gave up dolls altogether until I found Monster High because I'm like, wow, this is so unique and so different. It's not covered in, you know, solid pink and 10 pounds of glitter. There's not one mermaid. There's not one fairy. There's not a mermaid fairy. <laughs> you know, but now, now they're taking that away. They're making them cute. They're making them cheap. They're giving them molded on clothes because, you know, kids love that. Kids just love being able to never change your doll's clothes, you know. Yeah, kids absolutely love that. And yeah, I understand that the higher end dolls, the more, the like the 20 and higher Monster High dolls have joints and have removable clothes. But then, then, you also are giving them molded on leggings. So they don't have the cool legs anymore. They'll have like you know, molded on neon pink tights like they did with Ever After High dolls and the new uh, the new Ch uh, Prince Charming doll. He has molded on pants and molded on shoes. You have no problem giving the dolls pants for years and all of a sudden, well, they need to have molded on everything so kids can't play with anything. I don't get it. I'm just upset. I still, I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm going to buy any of the new Monster High dolls. I know I'm going to keep all, keep most of my, most of my collection of my, my older ones. Because I have about, in my permanent collection, I have about 600 Monster High dolls. I have some on display and I have some, in, most of them in storage for when we move. But it just really upsets me that they're doing this massive change. Why take away the one thing that made the brand stand out? Why? Parents don't like it. Don't buy them for your kids. If you want to collect them, collect them. But I just don't understand the big change. It's very upsetting to me. It's I, I know Mattel does this every time with their product lines. Every time. They did it to Barbie. I mean, her the Barbie market is just crap. You spend twenty-five dollars on a doll. Her legs don't move. Her legs aren't jointed at the knee anymore. She's stiff. She's you know all you can do is dress her and undress her. You can't if you sit her down. They're just straight legged like that. That's not fun. They can't sit in furniture. You know she sure she can sit in her car, but can she do anything else? No. She can stand there. Ooh. Come on, give them joints or something. I just don't understand. Like, are you trying to... Are you just trying to get the line to die so you can bring something else out? Bring the next big thing? Make the superhero girls the next new thing? I mean, I know they're popular, but are you trying to just get rid of the line altogether? I don't understand what you're doing. I mean, Monster High was, like, the biggest thing for Mattel in years. Years. And now they're just like, oh, let's, let's crap out. Let's crap on it. Let's take away everything that made us unique, made people love us, get them right there, and then take it all away. I don't get it. It's not like the dolls were gory or gross or anything. I liked every single doll except, like, there's characters, like, the show-wise I didn't care for. But I like the dolls. I don't... I'm not a big Laguna Blue fan. Like, her character just annoyed the crap out of me in the movies and, the, and all the shorts. Because they, like, overdo the Australian accent too much. You know? She just was, like, over-the-top Australian. Like, I have friends that are from Australia, and they don't talk... Their, their, their accent is not nearly... Anywhere near as bad as hers. But I still had her dolls. I just don't understand you, Mattel. Explain to me. I know it's a marketing thing because you're trying to make more money and, you know, but what about what about the kids who love the dolls because it made them feel better about themselves? Now you're saying, you know, be all, you know, love yourself but change to fit the needs of everyone else. That's just not right. I just want to say that. So, sorry it's not a review and sorry to be a downer.
but thank you for listening.